the first Noel the angel did say was to certain Welcome everybody to today's video. We're on day number 11 of our Christmas calendar that I'm doing right now with Georgia from Carnival of Creativity. Both of us are each uploading a video every single day from the 1st until the 24th of December. So Georgia is going to be uploading a video about Christmas crackers today. I'm going to leave all her information down in the info box. Make sure to check out her video. As for me, I will be uploading another DIY, which will be Christmas decor plates. You can use those plates to put them up on a wall or just display them somewhere really nice where people can see them. But I want to state that these are not food safe, so don't put food on them or eat food off of them. It might not end well. Anyways, let's start. For this project, I bought three small square cake plates at the dollar store. And I'm going to show you three different ways on how you can decorate them for Christmas. So for the first plate, I actually used uh, some paper napkins. And start off by peeling off all the layers. So you're just left with one layer. In my case, I had to peel off two layers. Now you just have one super thin see-through layer left. And start cutting out all your shapes. And you don't have to cut them out exactly at first. So after you cut out a bunch of your shapes, start really cutting close to the edge. I didn't cut completely to the edge because my plates are white and the frame of my little trees is white as well. So I knew that later on you wouldn't be able to really see it anyway. So I just cut off most of the axis, but I didn't do it too accurately. Then I arranged all the little trees that I cut out on the plate so I could see what it would look like later on. Then I got some Mod Podge, applied a thin layer to the plate, put one tree on there and slightly tapped on it to make it adhere to the plate, and then put some more Mod Podge on top. And I kept continuing that until I was done. Make sure not to put a really thick layer of Mod Podge, but you want your layer to be as thin as possible. I kind of exaggerated with my layers, apparently I was too enthusiastic. So now you can really see the structure of the Mod Podge on the plate, but only if you get really close, you can't see it from afar. So I'd advise you to use really thin layers. So while that was drying, I got out a black sharpie and I wrote the words Noel on the plate in a font that I liked. After I was done, I also applied a thin layer of Mod Podge to my wording because I was afraid that it would rub off after time. And then you're done with your plate number one. So for my second plate, I did something really simple. I bought a gold or sharpie, well at least I thought it was a sharpie, but turned out to be like one of those really thin fine liner things. But it did have gold ink in it, so it did work out really well in the end. And I drew a star pattern on it that I actually saw in the H&M catalog for all their home goods. They had a plate kind of like this and I was inspired by it and sort of copied and also adapted the pattern on their plate. I didn't do it too exactly, so I didn't want a perfectly aligned star. If you want that, use, you can use a template, but I just freehanded it. And 
that's what it looked like in the end. Super simple and super fast. For plate number three, I thought, hey, why don't you just use the glass panes that you have had sitting around in your drawer for a really long time? I started mixing my paints to make a brown color. And I looked for a cute illustration on Pinterest and decided to paint that on my plate. It was a little reindeer that I chose. Then I painted my reindeer head and its ears on my plate. Then I mixed up a darker brown, which kind of has a lilac -y tint because I added too much blue, but that's okay, and painted on the antlers. Then I waited a while until that was dry. And then because I didn't have too much of a color choice, I just got some nail polish and added two drops to create some apples of the cheeks. Then I got out a black sharpie and drew on the nose, a pair of eyes, and then the pattern that deer have on their forehead and on their ears. Now I'm using the same nail polish that I used to draw on the apples of the cheeks and I'm adding some dots here and there which will kind of simulate Christmas ornaments hanging in the antlers of the deer. Then I used some yellow glass paint to do the same. I decided to also draw some holly into the antlers using my green glass paint. my little Christmas ornaments had dried so I added some string using a black sharpie to those to make it look like they're actually dangling from the antlers themselves then I also drew two little Christmas trees and painted them as well then I added a few little red dots to my holly to make it look like berries are attached to it. And at the very end, I drew and colored in a tiny little bird that was sitting and resting on the antlers of my deer. Then I let this all dry and voila, your plate number three is all done. So what I did to fix it to the wall is I turned around my plate, cut a little piece of twine and looped it like this. Then I added a dab of hot glue, pressed my twine into it and then I got a little piece of fabric that I had cut out before and really pressed hard onto my hot glue to make it stick to the plate and really get into the fabric. Now you just have to hang them up on the wall and you're all done. No enjoyed it please like subscribe leave a comment down below and I will see you in tomorrow's video which will actually mark the halfway of our video advent calendar have a wonderful day I will see you in tomorrow's video bye